What do we think of when we see traps? Hear horns or whistles in the distance. That would be the train. Let's talk about the train. And specifically, let's talk about what is available to us in Connecticut. An Amtrak writer once said, it's not just the ride. It's about building relationships. And they were absolutely right. When you're on the train, you can talk to your fellow riders. Make small talk with them. There are three types of railroad that is available. No, excuse me. There are three specific railroads that are available to us here in Connecticut. The first is Metro North. Metro North is a commuter rail service that runs from Grand Central to New Haven, or vice versa. It is 72 miles and runs 30 times a day. The New Haven line dates back to the 1870s, according to the American Rails, when there was the New York, New Haven, Hartford, and New Haven lines. So in those early days, in the early days between New Haven and New York, this, you had this line that was used. You could think of it as Metro North's predecessor. But nowadays, you have Metro North, New Haven line. So, it works. Now, there is another com commuter rail service available to us, especially here in eastern Connecticut. That is Shoreline East. Shoreline East is very similar to Metro North. It is 42 miles between New London and New Haven. This line dates back to the days of the Clam Digger, which was an Amtrak brand that used to stop in New London, Niantic, and so on. This was also, of course, the American Rails. Shoreline East was created to cut down the congestion on I-95 between New London and New Haven. And the third is, that is available to us is Amtrak. Amtrak, since it's a national brand, there is a specific name for what we have here. We are on what is considered the Northeast Quarter, which runs from Boston to D.C., and it follows I-95. So, it's very easy to take, take it from Boston to D.C., or go to Providence, New London to Providence, in 55 minutes. There was also a sub-series called the Remonter, the Hartford Line. The last piece of this is the stations themselves. There is parking available at mostly every station, at every station. Sometimes it's free, sometimes you have to pay for it. Specifically in New London and New Haven, you have to pay for it since you have to park in a garage. So in conclusion, take the train, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. In fact, this speech was written this past weekend while I was taking the Vermont. So, I hope this speech has inspired you to take the terrain. And thank you for listening.